Jake Paul's second fight against UFC champ Tyron Woodley wasn't as big of a draw as many thought it would be. Paul knocked out the former champion and extended his win streak to five in a row. Like it or not, Paul has become one of the most talked about fighters in the business, but that doesn't necessarily translate well to pay-per-view sales. According to Days and writer Stephen Muehlhausen, Paul vs. Woodley bombed on cable and satellite sales and didn't even reach 65,000 sales. Since these numbers are only cable and satellite sales, the final numbers can grow significantly, but it's not likely they will reach any record-breaking numbers or even break 100,000 buys. Paul was slated to fight Tommy Fury but the bout got cancelled when Fury pulled out due to a rib injury. Instead, Woodley got the opportunity to avenge his loss from August. But the rematch didn't spark much interest. The YouTube boxer claimed that his first bout against Woodley made 1.5 million buys, but those numbers have since been questioned. According to sources, their first bout sold 500,000 pay-per-views, which aren't bad numbers, but far from the numbers that his older brother Logan Paul made when he fought Floyd Mayweather in an exhibition bout earlier this year. Logan Paul vs. Floyd Mayweather reportedly broke 1 million pay-per-view sales. Paul has been taking shots at UFC royalties like Nate Diaz and Jorge Masvidal, offering big paychecks for them to accept a boxing bout against him next. Masvidal took to Twitter to blast Paul when the numbers were out. Bitch boy can't afford the big boys. Never again do I want to hear my name associated with the fake. Why do you think that Paul vs. Woodley 2 didn't sell well? Do you think Paul vs. Fury would have sold better? Hit the subscribe button and share this video. We'll be uploading several times a week, sharing the latest MMA and fight news with you. Let us know what you think in the comments below.